talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Keep this frequency clear. And now it's conspiracy, see? They've made that something that, that, is, that is, should, should not be even entertained for a minute, that powerful people might get together and have a plan. Doesn't happen. You're a kook. You're a conspiracy bum. You're watching The Truth is Viral, the only news program on the internet trusted to deliver the truth since 2008. And now, here's your host, Mr. Bobby Powell. Welcome back to The Truth is Viral. I'm your host, Bob Powell. And uh, after I released the episode that detailed uh, the helicopters flying over my house and the Spetsnats that uh, we saw in town and the Department of Homeland Security vans that are roaming the streets of Alpena in the middle of the night, uh, one of my viewers called and you know wanted to tell his story. So uh, I'm not even going to bother calling you Mr. X or anything like that. Uh, uh, just can you tell us what happened to you? Yeah, sure. No problem. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my wife and I were out fooling around the yard and um, could hear, hear the incoming chopper thinking, you know, hearing it off in the distance, I'm thinking, okay, medevac getting closer I'm listening to it and I'm thinking no I don't know this sound I've, I, I spent too many years in the uniform not to know what this sound is this is Black Hawk this is a gunship I looked up I saw him come in from the south circle around the house and then head back south again as he head south he turned back around and come in again flew into the back of my yard and dropped brought his elevation down to 20 feet maybe 25 held that thing around and just sat there and looked at me. Why would he do that, do you think? I suppose anybody's guess is as good as anything, but um, given the state of our affairs in this nation today, what's going on, uh, the number of people who are really getting tired of the crap that's taking place, yeah. they're taking note of those who have worn the uniform. Army. Airborne, Ranger, been there, know what it's about, have the combat duty, have the been there, done that t-shirt. I know what they think, I know how they think. They taught me how to think like they do. Is it just me? Nah. But most. So you've been active in the uh, Patriot community though, right? You've been active voicing. I know how to be. Yeah, so you've been voicing your opinion. Yeah. As, as you and I were saying earlier, um, again, I'll remind you, history is not as clear as it used to be. I believe it was Roosevelt who said it. And it holds as true now as it did then. Buck stops here with me. With anybody else that's had enough of this. This is our country. If you want to live here, great, live here. But this is our country. We live by the Constitution of the United States of America as it was written. Not as it's interpreted by Mr. Obama, Clinton, Bush, or even Mr. Reagan. We live by the Constitution as it was written. We are given our rights <clears throat> not by the blood that our forefathers shed. That defended them. We are given those rights by God himself. Amen. And there's not a country or a man on the face of this earth that can take that right away from me. He can take my blood, he can take my heart, he can take my life. But he can't take that life. He can't take that right. That's there. That's God-given. And nobody, there's nobody walking on the face of this earth that can outdo God. <laughs> there's a skunk crossing the street. <laughs> <clears throat> I know. You heard my wife in the background. She's kind of getting away from the skunk. Um, she got chased by one. <laughs> earlier and she stole one part of it. That's life in northern Michigan. You got skunks downtown. I have no sense of humor for those <laughs> But uh, you were telling me just a minute ago uh, that you've seen these blacked out uh, vans in Alpena too, right? Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah I've got one that's parking uh, half two thirds of a block away from my house between usually noon and three yeah 
Um, no markings. Can't see through the windows. They're blacked out. But what really struck me as interesting is no license, no registration. Not even the t paper temporary tag that we put in the windows here. And they're there every day. Monday through Friday. Well, uh, this should be interesting because I'm not going to upload this video until I get some video of that van parked at that location. That I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm just going to go up and knock on the window and say, hey, you guys okay? <laughs> You'll take him a donut? <laughs> I'm going to take him a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Take him a donut. All right, so I'm not crazy, okay? People are coming out of the woodwork with their own stories. This is happening all over the place. What possible reason would any pilot have for hovering 20 feet above anybody's yard unless it was to intimidate a patriot? And there are a lot of patriots up here. A lot. And we're getting ready. Thank you for watching The Truth is Viral. My name is Bob Powell. Until next time, as always, God bless, Semper Fi, and hoorah. Thank you for watching The Truth is Viral with your host, Bobby Powell. Make sure to follow The Apocalypse on Twitter at The Truth is Viral. Like The Truth is Viral on Facebook. And if you can, please remember to donate to the cause via PayPal at www.bobpowell.blogspot.com Smack Runner Your game is through Smack Runner I'm talking to you